Good afternoon. We're here at the post Wody interview, and I'm honored to be able to speak with Karen Tornight, who is a partner with Ernst & Young, and she's done some very important work with Carolyn, and I'd like to ask her a couple questions about that. So, Carol, um, Karen, thank you so much for talking with us today. I understand that you actually started the inter um, the Women's Network with it, with Carolyn at Ernst & Young. Could you tell us a little bit about that and why? Sure, sure. As, uh, thank you for having me, and it was a fantastic event. Congratulations. It um, was really important to us back in the late 90s when we were trying to offer more programs and networks for our women, and we decided to create the Professional Women's Network here in New York. And our mission and goals were to um, allow our women to have access to more role models, which are incredibly important, as well as to make friends at work and to uh, provide them with a safe environment to further build their leadership skills and development, set and development skills amongst their peers. And it's since evolved, since the late 90s, that we now spend quite a bit of time, not only internally, Ernst & Young Women, Ernst & Young Women, but Ernst & Young Women doing good in the community together and helping other women in particular, as well as with many of our clients in um, expanding their professional relationships as well. So it's been a wonderful experience, not only for our firm, but for all of us and for Carolyn and myself, too. So Karen, what would you say was one of the biggest influences that Carolyn had on you in your early career and motivated you to, to take on this big task? Sure. Well, we started our work together and um, I did not know her actually that well. I had heard about her by reputation and I certainly wanted to have access to her and to learn from her. But she really, uh, similar to her class that she teaches on women in power, she really helped me to um, take ownership and to share my accomplishments and what I was doing, not just working behind the scenes, but to make sure that I let others know the things that I was getting done and how well I was doing. And she also uh, helped me to really understand that relationships are currency in the workplace and that relationships are power and that it's so critically important to have real substantive relationships uh, through all aspects of your community, not only in your own company but outside of your company's walls and into the community itself. And uh, she's absolutely right. It's fantastic lessons learned and uh, I was thrilled for her mentorship and advice all along the way. Well, Karen, I really appreciate that, and I can tell that you are a leader of substance with heart, and I want to know who in, are you leaving behind? Who are you mentoring? Do you have any specific um, words of advice for those that you might be doing the same thing that Carolyn did with you years and years ago? Sure. Well, I, I'm actually our firm's inclusiveness officer, so I spend, uh, my day job is actually to focus on women for our firm, so I'm very fortunate because I'm very passionate about it amongst other things, but that's something that I spend time with. So I spend time with younger women and, and women all across their, our ranks. And um, so I'd like to think that I'm leaving a legacy and like to think that I'm helping to make a difference. But if I were to suggest um, two things that women do, which I think are incredibly important and founded in research, is to share their accomplishments. Let people know the good work that they're doing and ask for feedback along those lines, as well as to network wherever possible and get to know mentors, sponsors, friends and colleagues and, and build that book of relationships before you need it. Thank you so much, Karen. I really appreciate your words of wisdom and you're an inspiration. So thank you again and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you. Congratulations again. Thank you. Thank you.